Well, to the day's other news now, and a drunk speeding driver who killed a young mother asleep inside a Murray Bridge house has been locked up on the spot after hearing firsthand the grief he's caused. The mother of his victim has died of a broken heart and a little girl has been left wondering why she can't go to heaven too. Dorothy Turner manages a brave smile after finally confronting the man who killed her granddaughter. We can't get her back, you know. Um, she, she was so beautiful. He has to pay the penalty for it. But Nathan McArdle appeared unmoved as he listened to a string of emotional victim impact statements from the family of Alicia Ianella, killed as she slept in her fiancé's Murray Bridge home in June last year. The 29-year-old driver was over the limit and out of control when he crashed through a bedroom, leaving a seven-year-old girl without her mother. Little Adaya wrote to the court, When I was told my mum had gone to heaven, I wondered why she didn't take me with her, because we went everywhere together. Confusion and heartache made even worse when Alicia's mother died just seven months later. After the funeral for my granddaughter, I was planning the funeral for my daughter because she had heart attack and uh, she just didn't get over the shock of losing Alicia. McArdle has written letters of apology to Alicia Ianella's boyfriend and her family, but her devastated loved ones say they'll never read them. I know we should be more resourceful for other people suffering, but uh, they've taken my family and my future away from us and uh, yeah, what can you do? We just can't forgive and forget for what happened. In a sure sign McArdle will be jailed, the judge today revoked his bail ahead of sentencing next Wednesday. Rhett Burney, Nine News.